Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. This is Nahid Farzanahok from Department of English, Cambrian School and College. Our today's text is English for today from class 9. So, do you know him? Who is he? Here you can see, right? Uh, whenever you are, you are seeing the picture, uh, you will think that this is the picture of of a joker right but no this is not a joker we will know about him today so let's see what will happen so our today's lesson is the art of silence unit 7 lesson 2 after reading the lesson today after having started this lesson, students will be able to ask and understand texts through silent reading, ask and understand questions, listen to a text for a specific information. So here we will get some word meaning. So whenever we will read the text, we need to underline the heard words from the text and we will write the meaning in our text. Obviously through pencil we will write it. So it, it will be easy for us. To remove it okay so primitive means ancient gesture sign or signal mime express something without sound so forerunner predecessor legendary well-known celebrated depict portray or represent Impress, make someone feel admiration and respect enthusiastically in a way that shows intense and eager enjoyment, interest or approval, distinction, excellence that sets someone or something apart from others. So, in the primitive age, communication took place between humans through signs and gestures. They evolved as a form of art used to entertain thousands and came to be known as mind so those who are doing this type of drama on stage they are called mind so the name of the artist mind he is a mime artist mime touched a little boy's heart while he was watching a performance in his village and he is no other than partha pratim mojumdar so so um, his name is partha pratim mojumdar he is not a joker. <laughs> okay. So here is uh, French ambassador Loic Morio. Mojimdar's turning point of life came in 1979. Please underline the sentence in your text. When French ambassador Loic Morio saw, saw Mojimdar's performance at Bangladesh Shilpokala Academy in 1981, he got French scholarship in mind. So here we can see uh, on different two pictures, actually two different people. The name of the people is Etienne Derox and Marcel Marchio. Majumdar started his training under the legendary master Etienne Derox. Through Derox, he met another celebrated mime artist named Marcel Mario. Mario was very impressed by the Bangladeshi young talent and offered him a place in his school for mime. Name, the name is written over here in French language. So underline it. So here we can see he is Parthapati Mojumdar, right? Marcy State solo performance in England, Belgium, Germany, Spain, Italy and the USA. French, Canadian and American TV channels enthusiastically aired his shows. In 2009, Mojumdar won the Molière Award in the French theatre. So here we can see the picture of our Honorable Prime Minister. As a pioneer of the art of mime in Bangladesh, Bangladesh government honoured the artist with the highest award of the country called Ekushe Padok. So here he is taking the Ekushe Padok from our Honorable Prime Minister. The government of France has also honored him with the highest cultural award of France title. So the name written here in French language or French title, 
so that it, it, it translated into English. The name of the English is Knight in the Order and Arts and Literature in the year 2011. So here is your task after reading the text. Read the text again. Say if the following statements are true or false. If false, give the correct information. The ancient Egyptian art shows that people at that time interacted with one another through signs. This is true or false? You need to write down in your copy. Humans used as few words as the primary means of interaction. Three number Parthaprati Mojumdar is among the first few who performed mime in Bangladesh. Four number, the turning point in Majumdar's life is when he performed at Bangladesh Shilpakala Academy. Five number, Marcel Marcio School of Mime is in Barcelona. So here you will get some question and you need to write it in your copy. What is mime? What helped Partho to express himself clearly while performing mime? What did he use to describe through his performance at the beginning? Why was the French ambassador impressed when he saw Majumdar's performance? Describe in sequence why Majumdar was given a number of the highest awards in art and culture. What were the awards? So that's all from this unit 7 lesson 2. Thanks for watching my class. Thank you all.